2012 presidential election is rapidly approaching and politics is dominating the national consciousness. We spoke to students and residents about the, the latest happenings in this presidential election. It's like we need to have like more awareness of like issues that affect our generation like as young Americans like we need to know um, you know where candidates stand on student loan interest rates um, on, on things like that things that affect us specifically. There have been multiple states um, including Georgia, who I believe was the first state to pass legislation where certain people are not allowed to vote because they don't have the proper identification. So I think tackling people's interests more are going to um, interest them more into the elections. And it actually matters. Sometimes politicians do things that don't seem to be connected to what people want of them. Romney alleged that 47% of the country does not pay taxes. While Romney's 47% claim does accurately describe a segment of the country which does not pay federal income taxes, he neglects to mention that many of these people do pay payroll taxes, as well as state income, property, and sales taxes. The data also shows that many of the 47% are elderly citizens living on non-taxable Social Security income, or children and working poor whose benefits cannot be taxed. Poll numbers are showing that Romney's remarks have energized many members of both the Democratic and Republican bases. While some found his comments offensive, others share his belief regarding entitlement programs and their beneficiaries. We asked a few students who they plan to vote for this presidential election and why. Um, I plan to vote for Romney. I think Obama's going to win. I plan to vote for Obama. Obama. The words and actions of these candidates are sure to continue resonating with Milledgeville and the country. Reporting for GC360, this is Leah Dickinson.